China very well may be silver's biggest price manipulator, and there's no legal authority to stop them using silver as a weapon against us here in the West. We'll talk about it as we explore. There's a lot going on with silver these days. The price has been going up steadily, and some attribute it to natural market forces, and I do as well, but we can't forget about China. In fact, if you do a search for China and silver on this channel, you will see a, an increasing amount of videos about China and its interaction with silver. Some folks believe that China is using silver as a strategic move, as well as other commodities, against the West. Keep in mind, there's a lot going on geopolitically around the world, and the latest theater of action very well could be uh, in Taiwan. Now, some don't think that's going to happen anytime soon, but regardless, the BRICS nations are strengthening right now, and China is the sea in BRICS. Now, what's going on here, and how is this working? Well, uh, if you watch some of those other videos, you have some indication as to why and what's happening with regards to China and silver. And what I've discussed in the past, at least in part, especially beginning on, when I started really paying attention to silver in China, is that, well, folks there understand the, the problems in the economy in China. So they're accumulating gold and now silver. The government itself has said that they sh their citizens should be accumulating silver. Well, the latest story that's coming to us from Tim Zyla is a, a little bit of a different take on it as how silver is now being used as a calculated move to essentially drain the West of resources of silver and to pump up the price. That's right. The biggest silver pumper out there very well could be China. Uh, China hoarding silver and they have their prices set higher than in, in, the U, in the United States, and I've reported on that before. While the world has been focused on the geopolitical tensions between China and the West, a more subtle battle has been unfolding in the global financial markets. China, through a series of calculated moves, has been quietly accumulating vast quantities of gold and silver. This move has signaled a potential shift in the global economic landscape and highlights the developing country's need for exorbitant amount of resources. In fact, I reported on in my last video about this uh, subject about how literally it could lead to World War III as they are uh, accumulating uh, unrefined silver now. Uh, and that was an amazing discovery to figure that out, which means likely it's gonna be used for military purposes. In addition to hoarding gold, China has also been strategically increasing its silver reserves. China does have some silver reserves. The Shanghai Metals Exchange has seen a significant surge in silver trading volume, with prices consistently higher than those on Western exchanges. In fact, I've stopped reporting on it because it's so commonplace now. And this suggests that China may be deliberately driving up the price of silver to drain the West resources. In 2023, China reportedly had a silver reserve of 71,000 metric tons, second only to two of the silver-producing powerhouse country of Peru, which boasted 98,000 metric tons in reserve. The U.S. came in seventh on the list uh, in top silver reserve with a stockpile of 23,000 metric tons behind Poland, Russia, Australia, and Chile. The thing is, you think about the, the silver reserves, we got rid of a whole lot of those after the Manhattan Project and the, uh, and the move towards more, uh, you know, I guess, efficient ways of being able to handle nuclear power and, and, and the like. But it was used extensively for the Manhattan Project and for nuclear submarines. In fact, on this very channel, I did a video showcasing some of that silver that was used for those applications. Just search silver hair on my channel and you will see what pops up. It's pretty fascinating to see the type of silver that was used there. By the way, it was three nines fine silver. But yeah, that's pretty remarkable. So the fact that we still have some stockpile is fascinating to me. And I didn't realize, I guess it does make sense for defense purposes to have it in stockpile. And maybe we're underreporting our amount. But look at where silver's price is uh, today in China. In fact, 
as of the recording of this video, it's about $32.47 an ounce as in US dollars in China. And by the way, I've confirmed it is not including VAT, value added tax. Some people thought that that's what um, was attributing to that higher price, but indeed it is trading higher in the Shanghai Gold Exchange, and that is the number that they have. Chinese silver is more expensive, indeed. Um, the rising price of silver could have significant implications for Western economies, and some feel potentially that that is what is part of uh, rising the price of silver in the West. I think that other natural market forces are playing a role too, but certainly it is having an impact and an effect. So that does make sense. Uh, if the price of silver continues to rise, it could increase production costs for a wide range of industries from electronics to solar panels. And this could lead to higher consumer prices and further slowdown of economic growth as China outproduces the West in electronics and solar panels. Uh, and the China is leading the way in solar production. I've reported on this in the past as well. But this is an interesting uh, situation that's happening according to Bloomberg. They claim they are producing more panels than can be put to use. Uh, R Bloomberg reported in May that China's sil silver imports reached a three-year high of 390 tons in December and 340 tons in April. The monthly five-year average is 310 tons. Reports have shown that China has produced so many solar panels that some Chinese citizens have put them to use as garden fences. Yeah, about 80% of all panels made in the world originate from China. Indeed, uh, that is quite revealing. Now, there's something else that I'm going to put in here that's not in this article that I think is, would be another motivating factor for them potentially trying to hoard up as much silver as possible, take it over, if you will. And that is... Uh, what uh, is happening in Korea. Samsung has, has apparently developed technology to use silver for uh, batteries, replacing lithium altogether. And I've talked about that. It's been widely reported in the community uh, that if that occurs, well, that's going to cause great demand for silver. And if there's less of it available for those uh, batteries, well, uh, that uh, means that that technology can't take off. And so that could be that there is a war brewing for silver. Uh, and against the West and East. And of course, uh, Korea, South Korea is aligned with the West, a great ally of the United States of America. Uh, now, silver imports are notably increasing under Chinese President Xi Jinping, and they've spiked in June and July, with both months surpassing net imports of more than 400 tons. Last year at this time, the net importing of silver into China did not surpass 200 tons. Joe Biden and the administration slammed China's trade practices in a memo released in May, claiming its over-manufacturing of solar equipment is harming the West. Uh, the U.S. Trade Representative, the Department of Energy, and Department of Commerce will closely monitor import patterns to ensure the U.S. market does not become oversaturated and will explore all available measures to take action against unfair practices, according to the memo. Uh, I can attest to this because I actually got a quote to increase my solar panel um, um, array uh, on my roof, and the prices have tripled, tripled since the last time I made an upgrade. Crazy, that's right. Now, we know India also has growing demand for silver, and I've talked about that as well too. They are a major, buy major buyer of silver, importing significant quantities from the West in recent years. India's recent decision to reduce its import duty on silver will further increase its demand for the metal, which leads to a potential that we could have a silver squeeze. So you have India doing it, not for nefarious purposes. China potentially has a war against the West. Um, that, as well as other commodities, by the way, not just silver, but silver is a big one, is the most diverse metal out there, which means it needs to be, uh, much of it needs to be used for a lot of these different applications. That will have a greater impact if you take that away. Um, now, to some analysts have warned that the growing demand for silver by uh, countries like China and India could lead to essentially a silver squeeze, similar to the silver squeeze of 1980, before the term even was coined. Think about that for a moment uh, and think about the ramifications of what we're talking about here. They didn't really make that uh, claim, but uh, just replace the Hunt brothers with China. 
China could be the new Hunt brothers. They may be setting themselves up to do that. Even if they waste silver on extra panels, they take those panels and boom, they uh, just create fences with them. Or they could just produce a whole lot of these as well. A whole lot of silver coins uh, to put, inject into the market. Uh, you know, and for their own citizens as well. Uh, just to harm the West. And they could maybe even sell those for much under their reported spot price. Now, can you imagine? If investors begin to panic and rush to buy silver, the price could skyrocket, causing a significant uh, disruptions in the global economy. And I don't know, the, you know, the thing is that disruptions in the global economy are going to occur from, you know, them uh, importing and, and trying to take the vast majority of the silver resources. Now, keep in mind, China also mines silver as well, but they're importing a lot of it. Uh, that could be stopped, essentially, uh, through a trade war or through practices by the administration to stop it. Um, and they could find other ways to buy it and squeeze the market. Um, and some of that very well could be by buying physical, buying off the COMEX and going through that route, using other agencies and uh, organizations to do it for them. There's a number of different ways that it could be done where silver could be bought on the be on behalf of the Chinese government. So it would be very interesting to see how this plays out. Like I said, on the surface, it may be seem easy to stop. There may be more to this than meets the eye. Yes, indeed. So fascinating story indeed. I'm going to try to keep you up to date with what's going on with silver in China. Stay tuned to this channel. I like to provide the latest news and updates in the world of precious metals. If you enjoy what I do here, I hope you will consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. And press that thumbs up button if you find value in the content I provide here. So I hope you found this video informative, insightful, and educational and newsworthy. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to each and every one of you for taking the time to watch and to encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.